Max Goebel here for IGN News. After a series of successful tests on lab rats with inoperable spinal injuries, it looks like there could be a groundbreaking cyborg-style implant on the horizon for paralyzed humans. French scientists have created a thin strip fitted with electrodes, which is implanted along the spinal cord to deliver electrical impulses and drugs. The prosthetic so far has been tested on paralyzed rats who, after being fitted with the implant, were able to walk after just a few weeks of training. Researchers at the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lucerne, I hope I'm saying that right, hope to move to clinical trials in humans within the next few years. Should the device work on humans, the team believes the device could potentially last up to 10 years before needing to be replaced. What makes the e-dura implant effective is the ability to mimic the dura mater, soft tissue, around the spine so that the body does not reject its presence. Experiments in the past have discovered that a mix of chemicals and electrodes could be planted within the spine to simulate the role of the brain and nerves. However, due to problems such as the body rejecting the foreign entity, the results saw the legs of testing rats moving involuntarily, making EDAR the first implant to successfully help rats walk again and be tolerated by the body. One of the key issues in the design process was crafting something capable of sitting next to the spine or brain unaffected, as both the brain and spine contain a protective envelope of tissue which can become inflamed or lead to scar tissue should the device be too rough or hard. The implant itself is made of silicon with gold electronic conductor tracks capable of being stretched or pulled as the spine bends. The electrodes are also made of silicon with platinum microbeads, which allows the patient to bend in any direction without the implant breaking. While the implant has been primarily tested to aid paralysis patients, researchers believe it's possible the device could eventually be used to help treat epilepsy and pain management for Parkinson's disease. So maybe we're still a few years out from Adam Jensen grade prosthetics that have retractable elbow knives and can throw a refrigerator across the room, but on the other hand, this is probably something more people are actually asking for. For all your weird tech news, stay tuned to IGN.